Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Invoke Workflow file. Invoke Workflow file is very handy and one of the most used activity I would say. When you are building a complex project and you do not want to write the similar activities or similar codes multiple times, you can just use Invoke Workflow and call the entire workflow into your main project right without writing the activities inside that without writing the codes inside that right so it's very handy so we will learn how to use that invoke workflow using a very simple example and then we'll also learn what is an in out uh, right in uh, argument and out argument in out argument things like that all right so let's get started all right so let me start so first thing i'm going to do is I am going to ask customer. Let's say you are asking the customer enter the first number. So we will do an addition of two numbers. Enter first number you are asking. Okay. And the next thing that you are asking customer is enter the second number. Okay. After you ask uh, the first number and the second number you will be storing them inside a variable so highlight the first one and here I will do control K and let's say the first number is I will store it as user input 1 okay this is my first variable and the second variable is control K again user input 2 okay these are the two variables which will contain the value and what kind of value is that is an integer type so I'll quickly go ahead and change that to integer 32 done all right now if somebody asks you uh, you know you have to add both the numbers generally what you do generally what you will do is you will if I have to sum it up you know I can use the assign activity and here I can create another variable control K let's say addition value right addition and here the value will get onto so first is user input 1 plus user input 2 so this is what you generally do right without using a workflow I am simply adding it and then if I have to show it in a message box what I do is I use a message box and then here I just say addition ok so the addition would appear now uh, the addition variable that you have created again that's supposed to be integer 32 type so I will just change that to integer 32 all right done so now here what is happening the value would come let me run it so this is a simple design where you are adding two numbers now how do you use a invoke workflow we are going to see next okay now it started running so it's asking for the first number let me enter the first number let's say 15 and adding this entering the second number which is 10 click on ok so in this workflow what is happening it is adding 10 plus 15 25 and it's showing in the message box so this is a simple way now i do not want to use that instead i'll be using uh, uh, probably this addition in your project you might be using 10 to 15 times or let's say 20 times in your main project so you do not want to write this code again and again and again, and again right so how do you avoid it is by using a invoke workflow so for that what i'm going to do is first i will create a workflow I'm using a new sequence and I am giving this workflow name as give expo hub addition. This is the workflow name. Okay, so now it got created over here. Now, here what I'm going to do is in the main whatever I am doing it here assign, right? The same thing I want to call it 10 times or 15 times. So I don't have to write it, I just have to use the you know uh, workflow. So for that okay do not copy so let me do it manually go to activities and here type assign so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create 
three arguments what is arguments arguments can contain any kind of value dynamically right you don't have to assign a value so what i'm going to do is here uh, the customer will be entering the first number in the user input one right so here i'm going to say first number first num and then next is i'm saying second num okay the third i am using it as sum so these are the three arguments i have created so the first num is going to take the value from the user input one the second num user input two and the sum is going to be will do the addition so the argument type you must remember otherwise you will get an error so remember while you creating the arguments it is again a kind of a variable which can hold the value of another variable okay so in a dynamic way so here also this the first thing remember you have to change the argument type to kind of variable that is there in the main workflow in your main workflow all the variables are are of integer type so in the argument also have to ensure ensuring the variable type is this is very critical guys so ensure you do this okay after that i am going to just write this simple code sum equals to the first num okay first num plus second num but again this two doesn't have any value for the moment right uh, i don't know what is there in first num what is there in second num it is not defined yet okay we will see that how to get it done so we'll go back to your main workflow now i'll delete this i don't want this i want to invoke the workflow so go to activities and here in the activities time invoke workflow file okay this is the activity double click all right this has come now it is asking me to choose which is that workflow you want to call so here i'm going to call uh, i've created expo hub addition right this is the workflow i want to call so i will select that okay and i will keep it on the top of it top of the message box okay there's a problem all right guys in the meanwhile your path got restarted anyways i got the file back so i was talking about uh, the expo hub addition how do i call it okay all right so for for that one i'll be using invoke workflow file and i will drag and drop it over here okay so now it's asking me which one to select okay let me select expo hub addition this one it got auto saved there's an error anyways so i got that xml file right now here i need to click on import arguments so the moment i do it all the arguments if you remember i have created first num second number sum right these are the arguments i have created while creating the addition expo hub addition so all this will get imported by default now what i'm going to do is i need to give the value so the value will be there in user input one right so i will just type that variable name user input one okay and the second value is there in user input two the second number okay and now this are two input so this will get value from user input one so this direction is always in okay but sum is something it will take the value of addition of first num second num and get into sum and this will become a out this will pass the value sum whatever value comes over here that will pass to the value called addition right this is the third variable i have created in the main workflow okay so if you see this these are the three variables so user input one user input two will become a in type where it will pass whatever value it has collected from the user it will pass it to the first num variable and second num variable uh, argument in the addition workflow okay and the addition is something it will get the value from the sum did you understand this okay so sum sum these are the three arguments i have created so in 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 and the sum supposed to be remain as out okay and save it so this is supposed to remain as out okay so whatever the addition will happen the value whichever comes in sum that should go to the addition value in the main is it clear so just create it you will be clear about this so once that is done all i have to do is show the addition value so let me run this and show you okay 
I started. So first number, let's say I'm entering 50. In the second number, I'm entering let's say 60. So 110. Right, it's saying 110. So what is happening? What is the benefit? Right, you will ask what is the benefit even you know this becomes the benefit is if I have to use the addition function 10 or 20 times in your project. Okay, customer is entering what is the last tax paid or what is the amount they have spent right uh, during the uh, journey and things like that. Where I have to use the addition function several times, I do not want to write that. A code you know 10 times or 15 times all I will do is just invoke workflow and pass on the argument so what I'm doing it here whatever the variable contains that value I'm just passing it here and it will do the job it will sum it and bring the value over here and show the result right so this is quite easy and handy this we use multiple times inside a project uh, right and this is not just about the addition right this can be for anything uh, it could be because of, let's say you are opening a browser and logging in, right? Even that workflow can be called in. So any kind of workflow can be called in using invoke workflow. It may not have an argument or do not have to pass the value. That's fine. But again, I want to run that entire workflow uh, and I do not want to write it again and again. So I can just drag and drop, uh, you know, I can just use that invoke workflow file and point it out which workflow it should bring. You know? So that way it saves a lot of time while building a project. So if this is helping you guys, please do not forget to hit on the like button. That is very, very necessary for our channel. And please do comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day.